I've got all of the form boxes built and stacked here on the front of the trailer. There are six of them that I made and they're all different lengths or different heights to uh, come up from the footing to the string. And uh, I'm rolling some uh, boiled linseed oil on the insides of them, which will kind of, hopefully will help those to slip off the cement off the concrete once it's poured and set up. You need to use boiled linseed oil. Uh, it'll eventually dry out if you're using this. If you use the raw linseed oil, it always stays sticky and gummy. I've got a, just a, one of the cheap roll, throwaway rollers is all I'm using. Because once you use it in linseed oil, it's really not worth a whole lot later. Because it's eventually gonna dry, but I'm just, Rolling this on there, just giving it a coat, trying to get up there in the corners. And I'll do this on all four sides. How I made these, I just ripped some plywood. This is three quarter inch uh, BC plywood. And I, uh, I just shot these together with a finish gun with some two inch nails just to hold it together. And then I had uh, some rough sawn lumber that I just ripped out at the shop. I put it on on the top edges and just put a band around It's what I actually did. I put some torque screws in there so that when this is set up after the cement is poured, then I should be able to take these apart and get them off the, the pier pretty easily. I left myself a little bit of slack or extra length at the bottom so that I can cut these accordingly. They're within a half inch or so of what I need, but I wanted to give myself a little bit of insurance policy there to actually get them right on the money. So I can cut those off at the bottom to get them right uh, even with the string on the top. I've got this uh, corner form set and I've got it anchored to where it shouldn't move when I start pouring. I'll pour really gently down into this when I may put another angle brace right here down to the ground. And you can see I have uh, another piece of all thread screwed into this nut and I have my, my piece ready to go to screw down to the top of the form where it will keep my anchor rod three inches on center from the string there. I've got a, a mark right here and another mark right here will be the edge of this little inch and a half piece of plywood and I just drilled through the center back 10 inches from the edge of the string or from the end of the stick uh, to the string and I've got some screws that I'll just screw it down to the top of my form and it'll stay there until times get better. I'm going to run this nut down in case when I'm pouring I splatter some cement up on this rod. It's so much easier to just unscrew this nut just, and it, uh, the cement will come off the rod. I'm just going to finger tighten that. This anchor rod will be 10 inches back from the end of the log. It will keep me out of the way of the notch. That's why I'm setting it back. And why I've actually got this pier set in the position that's in set, sitting in. The string will be the outside of the, uh, of the log. And I'll make another mark on the pier when I go to set the log six inches back from the string. And that'll actually be the control in case that log is a little bit say six and an eighth or so I will be working off the inside faces of the logs for all of my control
I'm really happy with the way these turned out. Nice and smooth. That one's got a spot or two of honeycomb, but it's not going to affect anything. I'll leave these batter boards up until after I set the seal logs because I'll put the strings back on the batter boards and I'll work the, a benchmark on the seal log to the string. And once I get the seal logs and the end logs on and fit, then I'll be able to take the batter boards down and I'll be through with them. Glad to have these poured. Now I can work on some wood. I want to thank you for joining me today and I appreciate all of our new viewers and our new subscribers that we've gotten here lately. If you would, we ask that you share our videos, and hit the little blue thumbs up and ring the bell so that you'll be notified when a, another video comes out. God bless all of you.